Match number two, Vi McKinney with that 197 to Jackie Wimmer's 168. Vi's opponent is Diane Salton. Good ball, Vi. We got a combination here, Jack. Vi and Die. Always take Sam to figure those out. You know that, huh? He's good. He's a, Sam's a heck of a poet, and he don't know it. Oh, Jesus! I bowled with Ricky. That's why. Yeah, you two bowled many times together. I was fortunate, Jack. When I was a young man, I got to bowl with some of the better bowlers in the city. Uh, Sam, and your dad, Hank Hetz, Eddie Jackson. That was a real pleasure for me to bowl with these gentlemen. Here comes the gal with the big bender. Two pretty good balls to start the game off. Both ten pins, just a little bit weak in the pocket. Diane, who rolled a 725 and qualified. We'll tell, tell you about our bowlers next week after Diane tries this cross lane shot. You notice she's over as far as she can go. Tries to hit around that third arrow and boom, right on target. Next week, from Madison, it'll be Nancy Fair back again with a 6.30. Jan Linger, a newcomer with 6.09. And guess who was number three? Pat Peterson. Now, if Pat retains her title today, Dottie Wagner will be on. They're queen from last year. Uh -huh. She throws a good mixing ball, Ricky. A lot of side revolution, Jack. That's why she's just a little deeper on the approach than the other girls are. She gets a lot of side roll to the ball. That puts a lot of that mixing action on the pins. She throws the ball a little softer. That beautiful form and delivery of that line, too. Real nice. The key for Diane, too, will be to get the ball on the lane. If she mm -hmm. sets the ball early, it's going to hook real hard on her. Come on, buddy. There's a sweetheart. The old 5-7. Incidentally, low at Madison when qualifying yesterday was 5-4-5. Five, five. Good to see Pat Burns almost make it there, Sam. Yes, old lefty. Left-handers. Rick, slide this one over. Oh, nice effort. I thought she was going to go down the lane with that one. Yeah, she's a little quick out there all of a sudden. Come on, Brian, take your time. The old Baron down there, Rudy Fassel. Still bowling, and he's what, 70? 79, I believe, Jack. All right, they're hard. Oh. That helps, Ricky, when you roll a bad ball and you get him. Yeah, she tried to correct the shot from the other lane and uh, overcorrect it. Ball didn't roll up to 5-7. This one she got up there right in the nose. After Vi delivers her, Sam, did you have some announcements about upcoming events here in Stones Lanes? Well, we got uh, Ricky's dad's team going to have a, a tournament here, Nora Martin singles and... Uh, I have to pass my sympathies on to Bill Zugadler's family for passing the bill last Monday. And the Stones Ladies Tournament's here, too. Madeline Kivitz leading the all events and the uh, singles. Ricky, she has no problem with that 10 pin. No, she's a very good spare shooter, Jack. Excellent. Diane still looking for that first X. She's had three consecutive spares, and she is a good strike shooter. Yeah, come on, Wow. There it is. There's that mixing ball, Ricky. A lot of side roll of the ball and just fried to five right in the side wall. Good rolling ball. You're still active on the lanes, aren't you, Rick? I keep my hand in it a little, Jack. Yeah, 
Supply means business today. She's serious. Tighten the match up now, back to about two pins. Guy who back in 1979 last year won on the king of TV bowling. Oh, How's that for action, Rick? Good mixing ball. Just like Diane's, Diane and Vi, and Vi both got the mixer on the 17, on lane 17 here. See her turn around, she knew that was bad when she let it go, Rick. A little short, a little short with a ball and it really hooked off early. Oh, Jack, there we got the junior traveling at Western Bowl. And next week, the boys will be at Princeton. The girls will be at Delphi. It's a position round. Give her a shot, Bob. That was close. It was. Come on now. Well, Vi is in trouble, right? I'd rather die. Diane's in trouble with Vi working on a turkey. Puts you down to 22 pins. Mm -hmm. That means you've got to get a lot of X's starting right now. All right. Roll up. Roll up. Couldn't trip that old four pick. That was a very good ball, Jack. The five went in back of the four, leaving it on a good mixing ball. Not too often do you see that. You know, Rick, there was always one thing that was amazing about your bowling when you were on the program. How accurate you were. When you would get to the line, you always seem to do that little hop. I don't know how. I just, I guess many years ago, started out with too heavy of a ball, Jack, causing me to hop. And I, it just continued on. You hopped off to the right all the yep. time. Uh -huh. And always so accurate, too. Oh. You get into those little habits and you just uh, can't don't break. get out of them. That's right. And if you're successful like you were, why, why change? Well, the hop occurred after the release of the ball, so it really so didn't affect right. you know, where I was aiming the ball. I think Vi had a few anxious moments. And she gave a sigh of relief there. <laughs> Well, she's up by 20, 104, 84 in the fourth, or the fifth, rather. You know, Jack, uh, Ricky was our king out at uh, Montgomery Bowling a few years ago, too. I remember that. He beat out uh, Davy Newrath that day. Oh, yeah. right. In fact, he was on the program as much as we are, Sam. I believe One he was. time there. You even found a way for me to get on this year, didn't you? <laughs> well, you always wait the last week. What's the matter with you? Yeah, he used to always wait. To, if he hit, I said, what happened? Oh, I'll be on. Don't worry. Last week of qualifying, he'd make it. You might point out also that get out the next time it vies up what she wears around her left ankle, one of those yes. ankle guards. Oh, yes. Get it Get a roll now. Now. Diane's just not getting the breaks today. Uh, that was a little light. If she'd, if she'd have struck on that ball, it would have been a good break for her. Well, Sam, we still got those 20 pins separating the two. 23 to 103 in the sixth. Number eight. Mm -hmm. yeah, Die, Die wants to make a run at him. She better start right here. Yeah, those 20 pins are tough to pick up unless you get those X's. Somebody in the front's going to push over our table in a minute, Sam. I believe it. Jack, her arm 
swing so straight, it, it is right next to her ankle, and occasionally she will nip her ankle with the ball. She said that's happened to her numerous times, and that's why she started to wear that. And that's true. When you actually deliver the ball correctly, you're just missing your left ankle. That's right. I think that's why we have Sam. A lot of bowlers are way out there with their arm where they should be, right alongside of the back, rushing this, your right side with it. You get a little sun shy sometimes too, Jack. You know, that happened to me, Rick, right here in the league I was bowling. I was working on, of all things, four in a row. I went up there and cracked my ankle, and the ball took off and hit the right channel. I didn't want to come back. You want to bury, bury yourself right up at the line. Go, Bob. Oh, it's solid, solid. And those were two good balls, Jack, two solid tens. I mean, she had to throw, you know, good balls. She could have closed her out. It makes it interesting now. It is. Because Di has got one to work on, and she's coming up to her ninth frame. now, Ricky, could make it very interesting. Yes, it will. This is the Gopar ball here, really. Yeah. This will tell the tale. A little snug. Yeah, rolled off a little too much. A little too strong on the back end. You know, I don't think I can recall a woman bowler who really bends the ball like she does. No, there aren't too many, Jack. Most of the women throw the ball pretty direct. We used to have Marge Oster could turn it around a corner, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going back when, in fact, uh, I can't remember the last time I saw Marge ball. Incidentally, Marge Oster, whom we're talking about, as you both know, and our viewers may know, may not know, is Ron Oster's mother, Red Second Sacker. She was a bowler in her day. I am afraid that do it. Yeah, I think that's all, Jack. She didn't have her strike ball today. You know, hard to believe that she only had two strikes in the entire match, Rick. Hard to believe for Di. She hit a lot of balls close, but close but no cigar. She can get 182, but that's not going to win the marbles. Already we got uh, 171 by Vine McKinney. She hasn't even rolled in the 10th frame. Now watch her get a big strike. <laughs> Invariably it happens. You know, we were talking about that last week, Rick. When a bowler's completely out of it, he or she will roll three, nine out of ten, three consecutive strikes in that 10th frame. is going to try to become, you know, it's Sam, it just dawned on me, all our queens have won all three to do it. That must be the format, I think. It should be an interesting final match, Jay. It should be. Pat is bowling awfully good, and Bye looks like she's right there now. Well, a fill here gives her 201. So it'll be Vi McKinney and our queen, Pat Peterson. Boy, she was hot last week, Rick. 7-17, Pat rolled. She rolled awful good, Jack. I saw that show last week. Don't know how anybody could have beat her last week. Make that an even two. 2-0-0 to 182. Winner is Vi McKinney. Match three after this. Thank you.